Hi guys, Rick Davis here with you again. Today I'd like to talk about the best mirrorless camera and what to look for in them for your next camera purchase. Now this new class of cameras has been going by a few different terms out there. A couple of the more common ones is a, an MILC or a mirrorless interchangeable lens camera. Another common one is the DSL-M, meaning digital single lens mirrorless camera. Uh, now, quite a few manufacturers putting out different ones that fall into this category. I'd like to go over some of the key things that you should look for before making your next purchase. What exactly is a mirrorless camera? Well, as a way of comparison, allow me to explain how a mirrored camera works. The high-end cameras we all generally know, which contain a series of mirrors, are called DSLR cameras, or Digital Single Lens Reflex Camera. The bulbous top portion of the camera is where some of the mirrors are contained. When you view an image with a DSLR camera, you're actually looking at the image through the lens, and it then gets bounced or reflected through a series of mirrors, and then through the eyepiece. DSLR cameras also have a digital viewfinder where you can also view your, your image electronically on an LCD screen. So now onto the mirrorless camera. These cameras do not have a mirror system. You can only view your image via the LCD screen. The biggest difference is in, in the appearance between these newer format cameras and DSLR cameras is the added hood space on top of the DSLRs. Overall, these mirrorless cameras are thinner and lighter than their big brothers. As you would expect, you can also shoot video with MILC cameras. So, why go with a mirrorless camera versus a DSLR? Camera manufacturers are always looking to add to their product lines to try and capture new customers to the field of photography. So, as technology advances, a new format of camera shouldn't really come as a surprise. Allow me to provide you with the pros and cons of these new mirrorless cameras. The biggest pro is reduced size you'll get from a mirrorless camera compared to a DSLR. Reduced size obviously means reduced weight. Now we're just talking the body of the camera here because the lens on a mirrorless interchangeable lens camera and a DSLR camera can now use the exact same lenses. This interchangeability of lenses is great. It provides you with a great bang for your buck by allowing you to use your lenses on multiple cameras. However, a word of caution here. Not all lenses will fit on all mirrorless cameras. In some cases, an additional adapter is needed to ensure that your lens will mount. As with all new technologies, it's always a battle between manufacturers. Uh, to come up with accepted universal standards. I'm sure this will change over time, but for now, make sure your existing DSLR lens will fit on your new mirrorless camera. Another pro for mirrorless cameras is the camera sensor size. For the most part, it's greater in size than of the point-and-shoot compact cameras. Therefore, you're going to get a better image with greater raw detail. Some of the mirrorless models now have image sensors as large as their DSLR counterparts. And a final pro, mirrorless cameras are quieter than DSLR cameras. This is because there are no moving parts. The DSLR camera has a mirror system that has to flip up out of the way for the image, uh, the image information to hit the sensor. Now on to the cons. It's not a DSLR so you don't have the added benefit of seeing your image actually through the lens. Instead, you're getting a digital representation through your LCD viewfinder. If your personal photographer image is important to you and you're stuck on bigger is better, then a mirrorless camera may not be for you. You may want a fully decked out DSLR to keep your ego truly happy. And a big key point, which needs to be remembered with regards to this relatively new class of camera, is the sensor side. As I mentioned before in other videos, sensor size is the key deciding point of comparison when choosing a new camera. 
In general, most DSLR cameras will provide larger sensors than that of the mirrorless variety. But this is changing all the time, so make sure you do a keen comparison to this important technical statistic. For me, what I like most about this new classic camera is that because it's smaller and lighter, I'm that much more likely to take it along with me in search of photo opportunities when I'm out and about. If you enjoy photography, I think you owe it to yourself to have a close look at the mirrorless cameras. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if viewing your image through the lens is that important to you. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you'll get my latest on video and TV production tips. Just click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.